Welcome back to Soma. We've just lifted the quarantine to Omicron, so let's go into Omicron and hopefully find a power suit that can take us to the Abyss. As if it's going to be that easy. Uh, guess I gotta flood this thing again, huh? Awoken. Hey, little guy. Aren't you a science vessel? There's a bunch of them. Look at them all doing science. Science robots doing science in the science sea around the science pods. They're so cute! Though I thought the science vessels required remote piloting. Maybe those aren't the science vessels. I'm not sure. Is the fish tetra whatever things? Polygon more, eh? Population zero. <laughs> uh, population count unreliable. See any fish inside of it? High five, slap. If this is the other diver. I think there were two people with the uh, the person over there that took off their helmet and killed themselves. Maybe this is the other one. Try to get into Omicron and there's a quarantine. Hey, come on! Open up! What is this shit? Armor for the apocalypse? Omicron is in quarantine. This is why they didn't answer our call. Hello! Christ, Strasky, it's called a radio. They're not gonna hear you better if you scream. Jonesy, are you okay? Look, I know you're the strong silent type, but I need you to say something every now and then so I know you're all right. Jonesy? Jones. Oh, yeah. Fuck's sakes. Let's try the annex again. Maybe we can break in. We're losing Jonesy. We need to get her inside. Well, get in line! Alvaro, there's nothing we can do for her right now. Hit the stasis switch and let's check the annex. entrance. Hmm? They said use Annex, right? Oh, it looks like Annex is around the side. Alright, where am I now? Entrance is light blue. Wait, isn't... Hmm, isn't Annex where I just came from? But it does look like there is another entrance, like, around a bridge thing, but how'd I get there? 
It looks like it's over the abyss. Just make sure I'm not missing anything here. Nope, I think that's it. I think I gotta go around the side of the building and try to get to, like, behind the building, basically. Was that red light there before? What is that? Oh. Yeah, that's the shuttle tunnel. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it should be around there. This does not look safe. Oh god. This had better be the right way. Hard to see. I really want to touch one of those things again. What the fuck? What the hell happened to her head? She's entirely decapitated. Where, where even is her head? And his head? Nothing. Because the black box is... in their head? It must be. It's gotta be the same for this person. Is that being done on purpose? To destroy the black box? Do they start to think the black box is how the WoW gets to us, so they destroyed it to try to protect themselves or something? I mean, they killed themselves in doing so, though, so how much does it really protect them? I don't know. Maybe by disabling it, it means the WoW can't get control of their bodies after death or something? Who knows? Global lockdown active. Override the dive room console.
this way. Containment. Oh, 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 oh. Stop what? Dive rooms this way. It's good, that's where I need to go. I'm curious what's down the hallway though. They're kind of like me. They're they're half human, half machine. Is it being Produced? Did it just get produced here? Did it just come out of this thing? I get the feeling I'm gonna meet myself, like I'm gonna meet another copy of me. Made the same way, with the same intelligence, with the same consciousness. Freaking light in this place. Other than eerie red emergency lighting. Why did that just lock behind me? Why did that just lock behind me? Something's fucking with me. Something's trying to stop me. Probably the same thing that I just saw in that... in that chamber. The one that wanted me to stop. Arc team checklist. Power suits tested and ready. Omicron scans are in the arc. Loaded equipment and extra rations. Climber calibrated for weight. Crane operator ready. Omicron standing by for pickup in two days. So the climber's ready to go. Or was ready? Did they... Did they use the climber to take the arc? 
down to the abyss? If they did, then if they did, then did they bring it back? Or did they never take it in the first place? No, it is. It's already in the abyss, the Ark, right? Yeah, it's not here. Hmm. Proper usage. Oh, this is the same thing that was there before, right? Yeah, this is from a while ago. We already kind of read this. Just if it doesn't seal itself. Flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still doesn't work, do not try to fix it yourself. And they're very heavy and they'll make you super strong. Yep, it's like the same team photo. No, I think the other one was of the whole team, but uh, I don't think they were in suits or anything at the time. Hear whispering. Is this where the power suits were kept? Oh, I guess I need number D. Of course, I need some power in here first. Freaking whispering. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. I really don't like the idea of transferring into another body. And what other body would I transfer into? The half-finished one I saw in the hallway? Simon! Look for a suit in the lockers. These not work. Oh, God. nice. I found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex, she's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby, see if you can boot it up. That is disgusting. It's really Herber. Power suit. Uh, 
information, a high-pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 centigrade to negative 75 centigrade, while keeping a steady 40 centigrade default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one ATM up to a depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even dehydration. Keeps a steady 40 degrees centigrade on the inside. Isn't 40 degrees centigrade, centigrade really hot? Isn't that really, really hot? That sounds unpleasant. Isn't that like 100 degrees? I'm going to alt-tab out of the game for one second. Sorry, I'm not used to centigrade. I'm used to uh, Fahrenheit because I'm a dirty American. 40 centigrade to Fahrenheit. Is... That's 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That is extremely hot. That sounds very unpleasant. Usage. The suit is easily assembled through a rotating neck and wrist rings that locks the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to specific personnel, but as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with the safest experience. Okay. Showing me the suits. I don't know what the green dots are. But there's two here. Um... I guess, well, obviously I'm inside of a building, so this must be the one I'm looking at right here. And the other one is outside. And looks like there's at least one at Tau. Ah, let's activate pod D. Error of Not exactly the grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pipes of structure gel, powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead colleague, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. Hmm? I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. Wait, so are we gonna use her body? Like, are we just gonna stuff her full of structure gel and a Cortex chip and just... Start up her body. Oh, it's nice that door just opened. Catherine, can you explain to me why it was locked in the first place? Nothing else in the other ones, right? Nope. Okay, let's go searching. Got a lot of work to do. Oh, this is not where I want to go. Don't forget, we need a Cortex chip, structure gel, and a power pack to get the suit ready. Yep, yep, yep. This is pretty large. Mm. Storage, okay, probably a battery pack or something in there.
or there's absolutely nothing of use. I feel like there's got to be something in here. Again? Why does it keep appearing in there? Reader? Ruffy? Jacob Halpern, an unusually sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought it inside to study it, but it stiffened and died in the process. During postmortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swinging for a few minutes, so it returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoned itself to death before I could relocate it. An orange ruffy, is that a fish? Some sort of sea creature that needs to be in water to live, obviously. Shelly, dead on arrival. Claudia Eames. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth. It's a 150 centimeter long rudder fish that looks like it is merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Orvery can't shut up about. I'm sorry, there's a fish that merged with some kind of... some kind of another fish or shark. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me that thing is out there. Am I gonna be chased by a fucking robo-shark? Uh. <laughs> Johan or Johan Ross, dead on arrival, Claudia Eames. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the art team is alive, which I highly doubt, they'll have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Removing lockdown. Stand by for diagnosis. All right, what's wrong? System overload in F3 power room. What in the hell is this? Whoa! Destroy the WoW. What the fuck? Somebody's trying to communicate to me. Or something is trying to communicate to me. Obviously not the WoW. But what? What or who? What if... No. I was just thinking, what if there's been multiple copies of me, right? Like, uh... What if copies of me keep being made and they keep being used to attempt to spread the WoW or something. Like, the WoW keeps popping out copies of me to do its bidding and they keep failing or something. And somebody messed up the programming and inserted kind of a, I don't know, a virus into my consciousness to try to change... I, I don't know, that doesn't make much sense. Did I just say an eternal nightmare? Oops. Am I just supposed to connect all of them? I think I'm supposed to connect all of them. Wait a 
a minute. How's this going to work? Dude, dude. dude. Uh, this should work. Unleashed dozens of walking sharks with lasers on their heads. Looks like some places are still messed up. Looks like I'm in the midsection right now. I'm at containment. God, this place is big. It's really big. Let's just explore, I guess. Already been there. Already been there and there, so this is all fully explored. I didn't go to the laboratory or back here. Which one's smaller? Uh, looks like hydroponics is pretty large. Looks like the laboratory is relatively small. So let's go to the lab. touch that thing so I can get my vision back but it's uh, connects me to the wow I really shouldn't I'm not gonna do it She's suggesting that it's possible one of the sites of research doesn't even exist. It's not actually real. Sea nettle. <laughs> sea nettle, I guess because it stings. and the well, Paula Lansky. Confirmed a correlation between the overloaded systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse inside the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. The corpse was messing with the systems? Ross recharging. This is... Looks like 12 days after. WoW is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I've ever encountered. Somehow the WoW, primary, primarily relegated to the structure jail inside the walls, is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. 
the glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the that what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Uh, I'm guessing it came alive after it reached 100%. tempted to touch that thing. It'd be so much easier to see. Everything's so distorted. But no. I will not. That's it for this place. Another headless body. Where have all the heads gone? I mean, I get if it was to destroy the black boxes, maybe they killed themselves in a way that blew up their head, but I mean, even if you took a shotgun to your face at point blank range, it wouldn't, it wouldn't remove your entire head. And where did the head go? Like, the head is, it's gone. It's been removed and taken elsewhere. What or who took it? Heard something. Is it this? Is it this lump? Is this lump making noise? Ooh, that's the gel. And yeah, it is this lump that's making noise. It sounds like it's breathing almost. Is that like a lung? Is it growing a lung? It's got a timestamp. It's like two seconds in, they're pouring structured gel into a little thing, and they've got a couple wires hooked up to it. Oh, Jesus. It's spreading. It looks like they provide it with a current. They supplied a current to the structure gel and it started to spread. Holy shit. That's all you need, structure gel. And power. That's all you need, structure gel and power. And think about what I've done, like one of the first things I did was start up the power again. I just provided a shit ton of power. For the wow, for the structure gel. Jesus Christ. Ugh. They're doing testing on animals. Ok, 
connectivity. The structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connect connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. <laughs> However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Hmm, so as it was, it enhanced simple things, but worsened complex things. Apply gel to a dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. Reanimated another mouse with structure gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing it The thing appears catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnets are used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with aligned graphene in a polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but its controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They haven't... They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the asteroid killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. So the WoW knew about the asteroid and went crazy after it hit. Catherine said the WoW just wants to protect humanity, just wants to protect life. And after the asteroid, I guess it went crazy trying to do that. Test group, blah blah blah. Uh, structured gel as connector and interface between energy pal, blah blah blah, organic tissue. Graphs, let's see. I don't know what any of this means. Never seen something of that speed. Uncalibrated. Temperature minus 20 centigrade, so it's kept at a very low temperature. Is that necessary to preserve it? Well, it can't be. I mean, the gel is everywhere. It's so leaking out of the walls, and that's obviously not temperature controlled. <laughs> of course. I didn't think it'd be that easy. Gotta update the security code or something. Oh, it's locked from the inside. But if it's locked from the inside, then where did the head go? Where the hell did the head go? Well, one thing's for sure. They killed themselves. Oh, maybe I can fix the chip here. Uh...
Is it like a circuit board? Oh, the entire inside of the mouse is just partially robotic. I'm gonna put you back in there. Yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna fix the chip. Alright, so how does this thing work? Oh, it uses the gel to fix it. Great. Fixed. What if I just... Still not scare? Please close tray and try again. Well, I think we can dump this thing, right? No? I can't pick it up. I thought I'd have to replace this with the other chip. Maybe not. I need a new tray, don't I? I don't get it. I mean, I've got a tray here, but... I can't take this tray off. I don't understand. There's no laser things in any of the other ones, so... Okay, that's great, but there's no laser thing in there. Right? Or, oh, wait, that thing, oh! I thought there were windows separating, ah, oh, goddamn, I messed up vision. I thought there were windows separating each chamber, but no, this thing can move between all of them. That is very efficient, actually, that makes sense. Having three lasers would be a totally unnecessary expense. Apply some structure gel to the hinges? Alright. One thing down. Two more to go, I think. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to find the missing things that I need to get in the power suit.